In this series of videos on the basic principles of switch mode power conversion, we have come to a stage where we can look at the, um, uh, the three very important principles that are valid in steady state and uh, which are very useful in understanding and analyzing the operation of uh, many types of power converters. So specifically this particular video, we will look at the volt second balance principle. Before we can begin to describe the uh, volt second balance principle, uh, I think it will be a good idea to have uh, a quick review of the uh, characteristic of inductors. So consider this inductor with the um, assigned current direction as shown IL and the assigned voltage polarity VL as shown here. Then the voltage current relationship uh, is this well known equation. Um, the voltage across the inductor VL is uh, L times the rate of change of the inductor current. VL is L DIL over DT and this is valid only for this assigned current direction and this assigned voltage polarity. If either one of them is reversed, then you will have a minus sign in this voltage current uh, relationship. Um, a good thing about uh, many of the power converter analysis is that we will have both L and C um, and the capacitor is just the dual of the inductor. So it is, so the capacitor is the, is the dual, dual of, uh, of an inductor. So what that means is that if we know the um, characteristics of an inductor, uh, we already know the characteristics of the capacitor because they are dual. And all we have to do is to replace the L by C, the voltages by currents, and the currents by voltages. So we can get the uh, input, the um, current voltage relationship for a capacitor uh, just by using the duality principle. So the L becomes C here, the voltage VL becomes the capacitor current IC and the inductor current IL becomes the capacitor voltage. Okay, so IC, uh, the capacitor current, is uh, C times the rate of change of the capacitor voltage. IC is C dV over dT. Okay, so let's uh, come back to the inductor. Uh, given this uh, relationship, VL is L dA over dT, we can clearly see that this switching waveform, this pulsating waveform is not a valid waveform for an inductor current. Um, so we can say that because uh, if you look at just this uh, instant, this transition, so we have the current jumping from a positive value to a negative value uh, in zero time. So which means the rate of change of the current is negative infinity. And from this expression, that would require an infinite voltage and in practical circuits, that's not possible. So therefore, we cannot have a switching current um, for an inductor. The same information is also given uh, in the second figure here. So that is to say that the inductor current cannot be broken. So we cannot have a switch directly in series with the inductor and break an inductor current. Uh, again, for the same reason, BL is LDA over DT. Now, if we have, um, for example, a diode connected here, which is what you see in most um, power converters, or if we have either a resistor here or across the inductor uh, resistor, then the uh, switch is not directly in series with the inductor, and then this circuit can be a valid circuit. Okay. So, but in general, if we have um, just a switch in series with, a, with an inductor, most likely it is not a valid circuit. There are exceptions, for example, in um, zero current switching, um, soft switching converters, uh, we actually bring the inductor current to zero before we turn off the switch, so that's different. So, um, in most converters, we will not have this situation. Okay. Now, um, the voltage across the inductor can have this discontinuity, it can be a switching waveform, and it is a switching waveform in most power converters. So, this waveform. Uh, is a valid waveform for VL, the voltage across the inductor. Similarly, from the duality principle, the um, um, since the voltage across the inductor can have discontinuity, it can be a switching waveform. Similarly, the current through the capacitor can be a switching waveform as shown here. And in most uh, practical power converters, we do have a situation where the capacitor current is a pulsating switching current. But what is not allowed is 
uh, is switching voltage waveform for a capacitor right if the voltage is switching for example at this instant the um, um, the dvc the d dv over dt is uh, negative infinity that would require a negative infinite current in the capacitor and again that is not practical in a power converter therefore this is not a valid waveform for uh, capacitor voltage so just like we cannot have a diode, I'm sorry, a switch in series with an inductor trying to break an inductor current. Uh, similarly, by duality, we cannot have a switch in parallel with the capacitor trying to short the voltage of the capacitor. So that is not valid as indicated by this uh, X mark. Okay, so now we come to the, the statement of this old second balance principle. So this is uh, valid for inductors. So the statement is that the average voltage across an inductor in DC steady state is zero. So there are three important points to consider to remember. First of all, we are talking about average quantities. So average for us means the cycle by cycle average CCA. Okay? So the CCA average second one is the voltage across an inductor this is not the current it is the voltage across an inductor the third one is dc steady state okay, so this is valid only in dc steady state so then the average um, voltage across the inductor is is zero so mathematically the expression is vl average which is denoted by this bar on top vl bar is zero and this is a very important relationship it's a very important principle that we'll be using again and again in analyzing many different types of uh, power converters in um, um, in understanding the operation in deriving the input output relationship and even in the design of um, many components uh, mostly the inductor the derivation of the old second balance principle is uh, it's quite straightforward so we basically start with the uh, the instantaneous VI or the voltage current relationship for an inductor as uh, given here. VL is L di over dt or its uh, integral form um, shown here. So IL at any time t is IL at um, some arbitrary starting instant t0 plus 1 over L times the integral of the uh, inductor voltage. And the integral is from the starting instant t0 up to the, the time t. Now, in this um, expression, we consider uh, T equals T0 plus Ts, where Ts is the uh, switching period. Okay. So, essentially, we are considering one complete switching period. Okay. So, substituting this expression for T in uh, equation 1, we get um, uh, IL at T0 plus Ts, which is the uh, substituting for T equals T0 plus Ts. That is equal to IL at T0, the same expression plus 1 over L times uh, the integral and the integral is from T0 to T0 plus Ts. Okay, then we um, invoke the concept of uh, steady state. Uh, I should be more specific and call this as in DC steady state. Okay. So in DC steady state, the definition of DC steady state uh, is that the all the waveforms repeat exactly from one cycle to the next cycle. Or in other words, in a DC steady state, the IL at T0 plus Ts is exactly equal to IL at T0. So substitute that in uh, equation 2. So we see that this expression is exactly equal to this expression. Therefore, this quantity should be equal to 0. These two cancel each other. Right? So what we've shown is this uh, 1 over L times the integral of VL from T0 to T0 plus Ts is equal to 0. Okay? Now, let me just multiply this by Ts and uh, divide by Ts. Okay. Then this entire quantity, that is nothing but the cycle by cycle average value VL bar. Okay. So therefore, Ts over L times VL bar is equal to zero. And therefore, VL bar, the average cycle by cycle average of the inductive voltage is zero. Now, the average value is zero only in DC steady state because I invoke the DC steady state principle in deriving this expression. 
Another way to derive the old second balance principle is to do it from the um, um, voltage current relation relationship of an inductor in an in a CCA average sense. So just like in an instantaneous sense, VL equals L di over dt. Uh, in a CCA um, average sense, also the same expression is valid. So VL bar, the average voltage across an inductor, uh, is uh, whether it is transient or steady state, is equal to L d over dt of the average inductor current. Okay. So in DC steady state, we can um, show that this is equal to zero because by definition in DC steady state we require that every average quantity, every CCA quantity be a constant. Okay? Therefore IL average should be a constant therefore its rate of change of its rate of change is zero. So DIL over DT, IL bar over DT is zero therefore VL bar is also equal to zero. Okay? So the volt second balance is VL bar equals zero. Now uh, that looks like a very simple expression and it is, but it, we need to be uh, careful in applying this in the analysis of converters. So the things to remember are that we are talking about average quantity, average over one complete switching period. Okay. So I've seen students uh, use this wrongly in, um, in a sub-interval. It has to be um, done over a complete switching period. Okay. So that's one thing. Then we are talking about um, DC steady state, so this is not valid in transient. And then this is the voltage across the inductor, so it does not lead to the current uh, being zero. Okay? So it's only the average voltage across the inductor is zero. And another important um, concept to understand is that VL bar equals zero does not imply that the inductor voltage is uh, zero instantaneously. Okay? Now, that is a key difference between DC steady state in a switching converter and a DC steady state in a non-switching converter. In a non-switching converter, for example, a simple RL or RLC circuit, the uh, inductor voltage, once it has reached steady state, is exactly equal to zero, even in an instantaneous sense. Whereas in a switching converter, like the ones that we are going to be studying, the instantaneous voltage would not be zero. It can be a very large um, positive and negative voltages, just that uh, in an average sense, in a cycle by cycle average sense, over a complete switching period, the average is zero. Okay. So a typical waveform for inductor voltage is as shown here. So during a part of a switching period, it would be uh, a large positive voltage and during the remaining part of the switching period, it will be a large negative voltage such that the um, uh, the average is zero. Or in other words, the area under the positive part of the waveform, A here, is exactly equal to the area under the negative part of the waveform so that the two areas cancel each other, giving us the average of the voltage being zero. So a typical way of writing the old second balance equation uh, is uh, as shown here. Okay. So uh, most often in uh, practical power converters, we would have um, for the inductive voltage waveform uh, a constant value during say the on interval and uh, a different constant but a negative value during the other, the remaining part of the switching period. Okay. So we'll call uh, the first part, we'll call this as the on interval, the second one as the off interval in one switching period. So this on interval is the D times TS period, where D is the duty ratio and TS is the switching period. And the off interval is 1 minus D times TS. So take the um, this constant value during the on interval, which is uh, V1, V1, times the duration, which is DTS, uh, divided by the total switching period Ts plus um, consider the off interval its um, value is V2 so that's V2 times the duration is 1 minus D Ts divided by the total period Ts okay. so that gives you the complete average value VL bar and by uh, this old second balance uh, um, that is equal to 0 in DC steady state 
So our final expression is this v1 d plus v2 times 1 minus d equals 0. And as I said uh, before, um, this kind of whole second balance equations can be very useful in uh, deriving uh, many important relationships in to understand the operation of power converters.